In this video, we will be discussing the EEG pattern for anesthesia with inhaled ether-derived anesthetics such as sevoflurane, isoflurane, and desflurane. In practice, these inhaled anesthetics are rarely used alone. They are commonly used in conjunction with intravenous drugs, nitrous oxide, and muscle relaxants to provide balanced general anesthesia. This will be a shorter video as we already generally know the characteristic EEG pattern for the inhaled ether-derived anesthetics since it is very similar to propofols. When delivered at surgical levels for general anesthesia, the inhaled ether-derived anesthetics produce slow delta and alpha oscillations in the EEG. This similarity to propofol suggests that the dominant mechanism of action, meaning enhanced GABAergic inhibition, may be the same for both the inhaled ether-derived anesthetics and propofol. However, unlike propofol, when the ether-derived anesthetics are administered at approximately the minimum alveolar concentration, MAC, or greater, the alpha oscillation appears to drop down in frequency a bit and a strong theta oscillation appears. This may reflect one of the non-GABAergic mechanisms of how the inhaled ether-derived anesthetics affect arousal. The appearance of the theta oscillations indicate progression into a more profound state of unconsciousness for an inhaled ether-derived anesthetic. The theta oscillations are typically the first pattern to dissipate when the concentration of the ether-derived anesthetics are decreased, such as during emergence. Consider this EEG spectrogram from a case where sevoflurane was being administered and the concentration was frequently adjusted over the course of time. We observe the theta oscillations appearing and dissipating as the concentration is changed from sub-MAC levels to above-MAC levels. When using an inhaled ether-derived anesthetic with oxygen for maintenance of general anesthesia, during closure of the surgical incision, switching to a high concentration of nitrous oxide with oxygen at a high total flow rate is a common practice. This is done because it can help facilitate a quicker emergence and recovery from general anesthesia. Consider this EEG spectrogram showing the end of a case where the patient was being transitioned from sevoflurane to nitrous oxide. When the sevoflurane is decreased and the nitrous oxide starts, the pattern changes from our typical ether-derived anesthetic pattern to a profound slow delta oscillation. There's a near-complete loss of power above approximately 10 Hz. After the sevoflurane is stopped, the EEG transitions to beta-gamma oscillations, which is commonly associated with nitrous oxide. As the nitrous oxide is stopped, the pattern evolves into high beta-gamma oscillations as the patient emerges from unconsciousness. Please visit the associated course to earn CME and learn more about the use of the EEG for anesthesia practices.